Good morning, YouTube. Uh, I just dragged myself out of bed and got dressed. Uh, I'm gonna smoke a bowl right now and then I'm gonna go have a shower and maybe, hi. Humphrey just crawled back into bed. He's ready to sleep again. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shower and then I think I might do a little nature sash um, up in my parents' bush. I thought that might be kind of fun, go on a little walk and smoke a joint. Um, and then I was thinking about showing you guys my tiny house. It's not much. <laughs> it's not anything cool like you see on YouTube, but I, me and my boyfriend built it and I don't know, I enjoy it. It's more like a cabin than anything and it's nice just kind of having our own little space, easy to clean and whatnot. So I thought I'd give you guys a little tour and I'm also gonna clean it today. So maybe we'll put some clips into that. But anyways, let's start the day with a bong toke. Uh, cheers. smoking that bong it's a lot bigger and has a lot of perks so definitely not used to it um so yeah I'll check back with you guys in a little bit showered I'm gonna smoke and then I'm gonna get ready to go up to my parents house and go for that nature sash if you hear any thudding it's because my brother and my boyfriend are outside right now um, trying to build <laughs> trying to build a jump off the top of our tiny house so like our tiny house it's not very big it's 10 feet by 20 feet and we have basically a flat roof like I think we have like a a one inch slope um so yeah they have like on our deck they have an old set of deck stairs going up to the top of our house um and they're building a jump so that they can send it off over our fence into the rest of the yard so that should be kind of interesting at least they'll be entertained this winter cheers
<laughs> Aw, she ran away. She's shy. Uh, that's my parents' dog, Belle. She's a Great Pyrenees mix with uh, Italian Marmara, I believe. I don't think I'm actually going to go <laughs> into the bush on this nature sesh. Um, I don't know. Just... Just the way the weather is and how it looks outside right now is like pretty eerie and it's kind of creeping me out like you know there's no leaves on the tree there's no color anywhere like it's just gray <laughs> gray and gold and like there's no snow on the ground either so everything just looks kind of like haunting and scary and also I know for a fact there are coyotes in uh, my parents bush because uh, between my parents house and my house there's like a train bridge like I can literally walk that train uh, track to my parents house and uh, I remember my boyfriend was on the train track so one day by himself going for a little walk and he said he turned around and saw a coyote and <laughs> and like we can hear them at night like they'll be fighting and because you know they're like you know they're hunting they're pack hunting and they'll get like crazy and start yipping it's it's kind of scary so I think I'm gonna avoid the bush today maybe another time when I have someone else with me I mean my dog's pretty tough but like <laughs> I don't know what she'd do if we actually did come up to a coyote I'd hate to come up to a pack of coyotes because they would do some serious damage <laughs> to me and my dog so we're gonna play it safe and just walk through the field nice too it's a really nice day like Yesterday was freezing cold, even though it was like minus 16, but I guess the wind chill was just really cold. Today it's not quite as windy. Aw. <laughs> In this part of the bush. I don't know. You can't see it from here. But I have like a little cabin in there that when my parents first built up here, I got this old shed off Kijiji and <laughs> put it in the back and it was going to be like a cool little hippie hut, but then... I never ended up doing anything with it, so it's just, I can see it through the trees. <laughs> it's just chilling there. I don't know. You can kind of see it. It's like right there. Yeah, it's just a shitty old shed and it has an, like my old high school locker lock on it, which probably doesn't work anymore. So, yeah. pretty out right now aside from like all the plants being dead it's still kind of like it's a glum glum pretty you know like it's gloomy but it's still really pretty I was thinking come springtime uh, maybe it'd be a good idea to do that walk from my house to my parents house with taking the train tracks because it's a really like it's all through the bush, but it's really nice. Like you pass a creek and you go, go on a bridge, two bridges actually. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we'll do that come springtime. It's, it's a little too bleh right now. And I don't know when hunting season ends, so <laughs> I'm not gonna risk going through the bush right now. <laughs> Hey friends, so I know I was gonna do the tiny house tour yesterday, but then I ended up getting busy. So I thought I would film it today and it's actually like the perfect day to do it because it is pouring rain out right now. It's really, 
icky out. All the snow is melted, which kind of sucks, but they're calling for like a buttload of snow tonight. So I guess we'll see. I'll do an update in the morning and show you guys if it is, if it did snow a lot. So, but I thought today would be the perfect day, especially like I had time to clean everything and I got rid of a bunch of junk. So yeah, I want to start by showing you guys my yard because I love my yard. That's my yard and I just, I love it. It's of decent size and I love all the trees because they like, they really protect us, especially like from the road and everything. Like you can't really see us in here, which is nice. My boyfriend built that table. That's going to be like our outside table next summer. We moved in in September, so we didn't really get too much. Actually, no, it was more October, I think. Yeah, middle, start to middle of October that we were actually in. So we didn't really get any time. Are you going outside? What was I? What was I? So we didn't really get time to do any fun summery things here, which sucks. I did get a garden going over there, but um, I didn't really keep up with it. So it kind of failed and a lot of stuff went to waste. So I told my brothers to come pick it because like we built on where their property where they're living. So I told them they could raid the garden, but they never did. <laughs> Cooper likes to stand at the edge of the deck and like scope everything out and he likes to bark at cars and stuff. He's a good little guard dog. This is, that's our deck stairs and this is our deck. Uh, my boyfriend made the deck out of slabs that he milled on his sawmill because, well he had like so many piled up and he wasn't using them so he thought why not build a deck. <laughs> and if you're wondering what this is, these are the old deck stairs I was talking about earlier in my video um, that lead up to the roof. That goes to the jump uh, that my boyfriend and my brother will be hitting this winter with their skis and snowboarding. You staying outside? He's, oh! <laughs> you almost fell! Are you coming in? Come on, come inside. It's wet out. My mom made me this really cute little Christmas decoration just out of like you know pine trees and berries and stuff really cute <laughs> welcome to the nut house I saw that at a store and I thought it was so funny so anyways when you walk into my house you walk into our kitchen um just to say, uh, our house is not finished. As you can see, our ceiling is not done. Our walls are not entirely finished. We built our tiny house as we had money. So we did everything that was like priority and got that out of the way while we had lots of money. And now we're kind of just waiting. And I think we're gonna finish the ceiling and the walls come spring because Hunter, my boyfriend wants to mill um, all the boards himself for our ceiling and dry everything. So it's going to take like the whole winter to dry everything up. And then we just need to get a little bit more tongue groove to finish a little bit, but all the important stuff is done. <laughs> so yeah, like we don't even have cupboard doors or anything like that. Like we just have shelves again, <laughs> all made by my boyfriend, like just quickly so we could be in here. These are all slabs. Our countertop is slabs. I love our counter, except I need to sand it and stain both of them again. This one just got wrecked. You can see there's like ash everywhere because this is where we have our bongs. This is like our smoke station. Uh, so I have to sand it and oil it again and get it like sealed good. So that way this doesn't happen. And also I need to keep reminding my boyfriend to ash in this little container and not get it all over the counter. But yeah, this is our, our kitchen. Got this old stove for really cheap. It was like 200 bucks. So that was a good find. I'm gonna try and avoid showing you the sink because, so we don't have running water in our tiny house. And <laughs> so our dishes just pile up and I have to like bring the dishes into my brother's house to wash them. So we do all our dishes inside, we do all our laundries inside, we shower inside, like we're not far from my brother's house. Actually, I can show you. Like that's my brother's house right there. It's literally across the driveway. So we just, we didn't bother with plumbing. It's so much easier just to 
not have plumbing and just go inside and do everything. It saved us a lot of time and money doing it that way. So that is why. So I'm going to avoid the sink because it's full of dishes and recycling right now. But I want to show you guys these shelves. The lighting's not great, but my boyfriend built me these shelves and I love them. I have plants and tea and whatever else. <laughs> the dog and its housekeeper live here. I love that. So yeah, more shelves on this side of the window. He, my boyfriend's working on build-outs right now for the windows. You can't see. Well, you, you there. Now you can see. It's just all like spray foamed right now. So he's working on making the build-outs for the window and finishing that. It's our pantry. We have we so we have a two plug outlet here, and we have four things. We have a toaster, a kettle, a coffee maker and a blender <laughs> so we're constantly pulling plugs out and switching them out for others which is kind of annoying and we could change that and put a four plug in but we'll deal with that later so yeah our fridge my parents gave us thanks so much my boyfriend built this we had to tear the hinge off this was on there um like as the lid it's our dog food bin and this was like to close it but we ended up taking it off we have to fix it so yeah my boyfriend's working on building out this window right now I wanted like a kind of big enough to put stuff on here so the bottom shelf is gonna be big and then the rest of the build out is gonna be pretty small and then <laughs> that's our bedroom the bassets are doing their thing chilling being lazy Uh, this is our little table. We didn't really have room for a kitchen table, so my boyfriend just built us like a little coffee table. So we'll sit like, <sighs> we'll sit at the bed. You can see it's not very big. It's as big as our bed and it's just, our bed is just a box spring and a mattress. So it's pretty short. So yeah, he built us this cute little table and this cute little bench for when we have people over which is nice eventually this area here um our bed's still gonna be here but what we're gonna do is like we're gonna build a platform over top of our bed and it won't be a box spring it'll just be a mattress but anyways we're gonna build a platform and put like an l couch with storage underneath there and then our bed's gonna roll out from underneath and it's gonna come like where the table is so we're gonna have to move that over here and then we built it out so we could put a shelf on our TV right there. Have some corner shelves for storage. My friend's mom made this for me. <laughs> and that was really cute. Love grows better in a tiny house. I love that. I love that so much. This is going to be a mantle. I know it just looks like a piece of wood. But it's eventually going to be a mantle. And we're going to hang um, our stockings and the dog stockings off here. Yes, I know we're weird and we're going to give our dog stockings, but I thought it was cute. Also, look at this. Like, it looks like it should be textured, but it's not. It's perfectly smooth. It's so, it's kind of trippy, you know? <laughs> and over here, we have a picture of all the dogs. This was our first dog. His name was Louie. He passed away due to cancer two years ago. He was only six, so it was really sad. And it was our first dog together. He was a rescue. And then, oh no, there's water in here. <laughs> this is Hooper. He's so handsome. He's such a photogenic dog. He's gorgeous. <laughs> then Humphrey. He's, he's Humphrey. He's pretty too. He has his flaws, but he's cute. Yeah, and then we have another slab up here that we used as a shelf. And then eventually the wall is going to like continue to the ceiling once the ceiling's done. But we haven't gotten that far. Um, and then over here is our closet and like storage area. Like we put shelves in and put our clothes on there for right now. But eventually, eventually this will be a bathroom. Um, when we have the money, we're going to get a compost toilet and put it in there and like finish it and everything. But for right now, it's a closet. We don't mind like going inside and doing what you got to do in there. So it's not really a hassle. I don't really mind it. We've gotten used to it too. Like 
not having plumbing and stuff. So who knows if we'll ever actually get a compost to put in here. Like we might just not bother, but yeah. Hi babies. <laughs> Hi Humph. They're sad. It's a very gloomy, boring day. They can't go outside. Well, they can, but it's too wet and they don't want to be outside. Hi. <laughs> if you uh, if you follow my Instagram, I have a really cute picture of Hooper snuggling his little toy right here. This is his favorite toy. It's a hedgehog. And it makes funny noises. And he was, like, snuggling it. It was, like, tucked in to his ear, which was really cute when he was sleeping. So, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty much our tiny house. It's not very big. It's uh, 10 feet by 20 feet. And it's just kind of perfect. I can't wait till it's finished. Like, we don't even have siding on the outside right now, you guys. Like, it is type hard. <laughs> Legit. It's just type hard, but we're eventually going to get there. Oh, I showed you guys my sink. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah. I hope you guys like my little tiny house. Like I said, it's more like a cabin than anything. We're still debating on whether we're going to paint the walls white or not. That was the original plan, but then we put up all the tongue and groove, and we decided that, like, we really like the tongue and groove the way it is. Um, but maybe down the road we will paint it just to make it feel a little bit more open. So, yeah. Remember how it was raining yesterday? It snowed, like, a good amount. <laughs> but now everything looks pretty. As much as I dislike the cold in the winter, I love how snow looks. It's so pretty. It gets old after four months, but it is what it is.